everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to root your LG G2. This should work for a bunch of variants actually, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Rogers, Bell, Telus, uh, D802, Sprint. Um, those are all the confirmed working models uh, that do work. So basically all LG G2. So this will be the easiest method on how to root it. First of all, on your phone, you need to go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about phone and under about phone, go ahead and go into software information. Under software information, we need to enable the developer option so we can turn on USB debugging. To do so, tap on build number. I believe it's seven times, three, two, one, you are now a developer. So now that we're a developer, all you have to go ahead and do is you'll see developer options now under the system settings. So go ahead and go into developer options and I'm gonna hit okay. And we just need to check USB debugging. Hit yes and make sure USB debugging is checked. So that's the first step to getting our phone ready. Next you need to go ahead and download and install the specific drivers on your PC for your LG G2. I'll link to where you can get those in the description. Just go ahead and download and install those drivers on your computer. And once you've installed those drivers, what you're gonna to need to do is download another file onto your computer, which would be actually the root file that you do need. It should be a zip file, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my computer. All right, and once you download that root file, it should be called something like IO root 11 or a higher number. What you first want to do is go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop. So just go ahead and right click on your desktop, hit new folder, and you can call it something, you can rename it something like uh, G2 root. So there you go, you can call it G2 root so you know what it is. Double click on this zip file, this IO root zip file, and inside you'll see a bunch of different files. What you're gonna to wanna to do is select all of the files within, this, uh, within that specific zip file and transfer them into that G2 root folder. You'll go ahead and transfer on over. Once transferred over, you can just go ahead and open that G2 root folder. And inside that folder, you'll see all of those files that we just transferred out. All right, so now just go ahead and actually plug in your uh, G2 into your computer. So just plug it on in. If any drivers are installing on your computer, just go ahead and let them install. Um, you can just use MTP, just leave it on that. If you're on Verizon, you do need to go ahead and select uh, Ethernet mode. So if you have a Verizon G2, go ahead and select Ethernet. Otherwise, just, you can leave it on MTP. Now just go ahead and double click on where it says root. It's a Windows batch file. You can just double click on it. And uh, if you're on Windows 8, it's gonna go ahead and say Windows protected your PC. Uh, all you have to do now is just go ahead and hit more info and then hit run anyway. So just go ahead and run that program. All right, so it's gonna open up this command prompt and all you have to do is it says press any key to continue. I wanna make a note that this may void your warranty so just kinda keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna press enter and it says looking for device um, and it'll say this computer's RSA key fingerprint is blah blah blah. I'm just gonna hit okay because I'm allowing uh, USB debugging. So I'm gonna hit okay. And it says, now please unplug USB, go into developer options, disable USB debugging, and re-enable it. All right, so back with my G2 real quick. And like it said, go ahead and go back into settings. Go ahead and scroll down to developer options. Go ahead and uncheck USB debugging. And then go ahead and recheck USB debugging. Hit yes, so make sure you recheck it. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and plug in your device. And then go ahead and go back to your computer. All right, and once you have it plugged back in, you can just press any key to continue. So go ahead and press any key to continue, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and run through and root your device. Now on this uh, note, it says it will trip LG's root checker, which again, could void your warranty. There might be a way in the future to reverse this, there might not, so again, you're taking a risk on voiding your warranty if you do follow this method, so keep that in mind. Again, press Control C if you wanna go ahead and exit out of it or exit out of it to stop it, or you can press any key to continue. I'm gonna press any key to continue, and now it's just gonna go ahead and root my phone automatically for me. And you'll see it says done, that's it. Please check above for any errors. Um, I don't see any errors, so enjoy your phone. So I'm gonna press any key to continue, and now let's go ahead and show that we are now rooted. All right, so back to my phone, you will see there is now an app called Super User on your phone. So this kind of lets you know that you are rooted. To double check, I downloaded an app called Root Checker. You can get it from the Play Store. It is free, um, and I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you guys that I am rooted. I'm gonna hit agree, and I'm gonna verify root access. It's gonna 
pop up a window and actually just, it didn't pop up a window, it says congratulations this device has root access. So there you have it. This lets you know you do have root access. You can go ahead and run root apps, apps that require root permissions, and that's all you need to do. So again, a very easy method to root your LG G2. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.